All right, Cowboys uh, joint practice with the Rams. Uh, Cowboys defensive tackle Albert Huggins, who just signed with the Cowboys last week, launches a Rams staff member uh, to the Rams' dismay. Now, the Rams staff member was acting as the quarterback in the drill, and he didn't have the proper jersey on. Just running out there. Huggins was thrown out of practice. Greg, we'll start with you. Is this a big deal or no big deal? Yeah, man, this is absolutely egregious, disgusting. I, like, Whoa. he should be out of practice. Like, you yeah, can't. You if, this is, if this is a player that he did that to, it would be a little different because the player would then be in the uniform and all the things. This is like... What, Seems like a kid. This is a, this, he looks like a kid. Yeah, so there's some reports like, that he was an his, intern. His, his own coach kind of shoves him after this play. Like, dude, what are you doing? Like, uh, there's just so much yeah, to dissect. He's, he's fighting for a job already on the Cowboys. So he's not like a starter or anything. He's like low on, yeah. on, low on the depth chart. And then you go and do this. You got the whole entire team now going to be upset at you. This is why I feel like you got to tell them you're not practicing no more today. Because if he's in a drill, coach, and you can speak to this as a defensive guy, like if he's in a drill, now all the offensive guys are clearly going to be targeting him. And so I, I don't we, – we talked about this yesterday about the fights and ownership getting paid or, or fines so, for fights. So it's I'm, like I'm we don't okay, want that to I'm happen. okay with fighting here. Fight. I, I'm okay with. Oh no question. Coach, you you're gotta okay fight with here. fighting here. In this is <laughs> I am absolutely okay with. I fighting. agree with that. And here's the other what? thing. That's what I'm saying. Here's the other Get thing. Stafford in there. I'd bring him in, and and he would be cut. That's it. If you're if you are this dumb to put someone who's who has who is filling Not in a drill to civilian. try to give you a look to help and you potentially hurt him, then then you're too you're too dumb to play for my team. So you you gotta go. You gotta go. So like I, it's not it's not about fencing over Brett. You gotta go. So so I'm I'm first of all so glad you said that because what I was about to ask was we've spent on and off the air a lot of time this past week talking about how much coach hates training camp practices. Yep. But oh, I training almost camp practices. I'm sorry, I training camp. Training camp so I, I misspoke. Yeah. Thank you. Well, it's tr fights at training camp practices, and I thought the exact thing Greg thought, which is man. Those Rams players, it felt like they were handcuffed yes. by the fact that these inner squad practices, the team gets fined, they've clearly been talked about not fighting. I felt like that was a must-fight situation. No question. I felt like that was a situation where those Rams guys had to almost jump that guy. I know this sounds bad, but that's Dude, I was that's shocked terrible. at their sounds lack of what response. What he did was deserving of whatever they decided to do. When I first started in Cleveland a long, long time ago, I was that guy. I had to take snaps and practice during one-on-one drills. <laughs> But I had to do it under center from Steve Everett, oh, wow. who just wore grays. <laughs> I, I needed a medical glove is what I needed. Jeez, so coach. then there's not only the pressure coach. of getting the snap, right? So you're getting the snap. You've got these 300-pound guys in front of you. You put the ball on the ground and one of those guys gets hurt, you're getting fired. Yeah. So it, it's, it is miserable. Okay. <laughs> Good takes. <laughs> Gross turn there at the end. I, I appreciate it. You know, it'd be a little less to live through it. I still have PTSD. <laughs>